This is USBI News, your Virgin Islands connection. There is much work to be done as we continue to improve the quality of life for all Virgin Islanders. But together, we got this. As I stand here tonight, I am happy to report that the state of the territory is stronger than ever and only getting stronger. The governor addresses the territory this week in the 2022 State of the Territory Address, touching on everything from tourism to COVID to the economy. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us for USVI News. I'm Emily Matson. From the economy to WAPA in Lime Tree Bay Refinery, restoring drag racing in St. Croix, a rise in crime in the Virgin Islands, to revitalization in the entire territory. Governor Albert Bryan Jr. touched on all of those topics and many more during his fourth State of the Territory Address. An address he made Monday night as the U.S. Virgin Islands and the nation tried to make a comeback from a deadly and disruptive global pandemic. Our USVI News' Ali bourne has more on some of the important topics the governor addressed. The governor's State of the Territory address covered several different areas and strategies of the Brian Roach administration. COVID was a big part of what the governor had to share, reporting on finding the balance between keeping the people of the Virgin Islands safe as well as their livelihood. Health-wise, he shared that the Virgin Islands has led the nation when it comes to making sure that everyone has access to the COVID vaccine. While we may all want to be done with COVID, COVID is certainly not done with us. The biggest weapon in our battle to withstand the COVID-19 pandemic last year was the availability of vaccines. We were the first jurisdiction in the nation to make them widely available to everyone. The easy access to free vaccination protected thousands of Virgin Islanders from the worst, worst health effect of the COVID virus. Tourism was another big area that the governor covered. He shared that the Department of Tourism's response to COVID has served as a leading example for other islands, sharing that since the pandemic, the territory has won numerous tourism awards, including most innovative destination of the year. By October 2021, the economy had already regained almost 95% of the jobs lost during the pandemic. And the unemployment rate fell to a 8%, a full 5.6 points from the initial hike. Visitor volume recovered nearly 80% from its low in 2020. And we started to draw regional and national attention as to how well we were doing despite COVID. We can proudly report that our efforts to keep America's Caribbean open and protect the livelihoods of those of us who depend on the hospitality industry have been very successful. Throughout the pandemic, the U.S. Virgin Islands continued to win accolades for its visitor experience as a travel destination. Many more topics, including financial, education, hurricane recovery, and GERS were also shared. We'll have more on that in the coming days, but ultimately, Governor Bryan shared hope for the future, saying that as long as we continue to lay a solid foundation, stay safe, opportunities will unfold. In St. Thomas, Ali Bourne-Vanek, USVI News.